um, and then I think that's the best way forward. But now all of this means actual work. You know, so these are ideas are okay, but making this into an actual drawing set because we will need more than just these drawings. Our basic Not floor really. plan will remain the same. Only the front elevation needs to be worked on. No? Yes. Yes, so the only thing that's being, I would not even say changing, I would say rather improving is. Yes, this area, this, front elevation of this, this area. Yeah, just this part is being changed. Improved, not changed, improved. Yes. Okay. So, so what we'll do is we'll make a 3D model of this portion. It will not cost you a lot either. And I will make that model for you, okay? Um, because with this model, we can actually use finishes and all of that because it's um, it's a lot of work um, once we apply a lot of this different ideas, okay? Uh, so, which software do you use? Will you use? Um, I will. Creating? I will use a comp. Yeah, I will use a combination of so softwares because not one software does everything. So for the 3D model, I'll be using Rhinoceros, Revit, and um, SketchUp. And for um, the materials, I will be using Lumion, uh, and I will also be using uh, one more other same Rhinoceros because in the application for it. What for the drawings? What do you mean by use... what do you mean by materials? Uh, first, you make a, a flat 3D, and then you uh, put the materials yeah. on it. I'll show you what materials drawings look like. Okay. So. And uh, you just mentioned that it will not cost me a lot in what terms in executing it or the cost for uh, 3D, producing, 3D rendering? Yeah. No, producing the drawings and from here on out, how to build it. So, because all of this. You can tell me the charges for it as well. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So this stuff needs to be produced in order for it to look the way I just showed you. Okay. This is the this is called a wall section. This is what the architect needed to produce for you. Um, this is too much technical. So this is to hold the yes. roof. So, yes. So much details. This is, yes. For example, how will that corner look like once it's actually sitting onto the wall? So, this is the kind of detail that is required. So, what I'm proposing to you is we do um, a hybrid model, which is not too complicated because you are the one who is managing it. So, if you cannot understand this, which means you will not be able to communicate this to the laborers. So there is no point of going into this much detail for you because these drawings are for you. But at the same time, we need to have the complexity built in. Um, and for that, we need to be a bit more complicated than just this drawing, if you know what I mean. Okay. So somewhere in between. Um, so for that, I will be the one making that drawing for you. So that's that's the idea. But before I start making that drawing, we will lock in the 3D. Okay? So that's the overall process in this thing. And with, with regards to your question about what did I mean by materials? Well, materials will be specified here on this wall. So it will say exactly where the wood part is going to be, where the good cup part is going to be, where the glass is going to be. Everything will be very clearly laid out onto this one. So you will okay. not, not have any problem in. Okay. So, and using that, then we will also be able to calculate the amount of material actually needed. How much tile do you really need? How much window glass do you really need? All of that. So, so it's a very step-by-step -step process that we need to go through, um, but we need to do things the right way. Okay, okay.
This sounds yeah. good. Fun. I think we are reaching a, a conclusion. Yeah. So now, in terms of the charges, now generally speaking, um, majority of times I charge a lot for the three D model because that's where all the decisions are made. Okay. So um, we can work. There are two things I can I'm thinking of. One is you only pay for the three D model. Okay. And and I produce just that for you, and sub, some subsequent drawings for it. So that's one package. Okay. The other is a more detailed design, which includes not just front part but also the subsequent parts associated with it. For example, once once this this wall is built, what happens to the area behind it? Because all of it is interlinked. You know. Um, so you would but don't you think only more. the front uh, 3D is uh, sufficient? Yeah, well, so it is certainly, but you will need uh, how this wall is going to be resting onto this wall right here. You know, so that means it's, so it would be interior of the house. It would, yeah, it, it would mean a little bit of interior as well. Yes, so you know, I can I can give you what the front will look like, but then eventually you will. You will come back and ask questions about what will the interior look like. So better to have those questions addressed now or in due course. So there are different models for doing it. Some of my clients, some of my clients, and I'm now making it more professional. So I'm kind of treating you as a client. So some of my That's clients cool. um, say that they want a comprehensive thing because in the long run, it saves them a lot of money. You know, otherwise, it's, they keep coming back for more and more questions, and the questions are not fully answered. So essentially, what that means is that we build a model of not just this part, but of this part. Okay. So this is a complete design package. The rest is your other stuff, whatever you want to do. This part should be complete with the interior design and also of the external design as well. So, you know, you have a good idea of what everything will look like. The advantage of doing this also is, by the way, um, we can, if we need to add more windows to get more views, we can do so. Yeah. That, that is very much possible um, if we need. With that advantage of also this one is that if we need to incorporate some skylights, we can also do so. Um, because this this space can also benefit from a bit of a skylight because you have only so one. You thing. mean to say that the marked area you have uh, this area you have marked, if we you create the three D model of it, we will have an idea that from side uh, side view, we will have an idea that maybe we don't like it without any windows. That's what you're saying. If it if it's a wall, it will give us a look that how it will look like if it is appealing or not appealing. Yes. So basically, I will be producing this. Okay. Okay. So this is what using this and one information front. as as opposed to this. The first option is just this. Mm. The second option is this, you know, because it gives more depth to what is happening, which is what we needed. So, so the charges, I'll tell you, there are two different charges. Producing this is a lot cheaper. This is a bit more, but not as expensive as um, the other thing. So the uh, 3D guy who I engaged at the moment, he told me he will give me two two views, but I'm not too sure what kind of views he will give me. He was asking me to give him the drawings and go ahead, but I told him that I have yet to finalize what kind of front elevation. I'm yeah, going no, to. what he's producing for you is just he's not doing any design work. He's just replicating what the drawings show. He's not doing any design work. I'm doing design work for you. That's a big difference. So um, he's not going to so suggest he, me anything. He's just going to ask me what do you want. 
and you are going to uh, suggest. I'm yeah, I'm suggesting and also proposing and working through the best solution for you, and also on top of all of that, producing the 3D model. So, so I'm giving you a lot more than one that one guy is yeah, yeah, yeah. even providing you. It's let me give you another way of example. Example. You go to a consultant and you say that you need a car. That that guy is just giving you a Suzuki, whereas I am giving you an experience. I'll say, okay, well, you need to, you don't need a Suzuki, you need a BMW, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, this is, so I'm working with you, which is the best car to go with and why? And then explaining different uh, pros and cons for each of them. So, um, and this is how I generally approach a lot of my clients. And there's a reason why I have repeat clients all the time. I don't have any new clients. You're no, my, no, in I'm fact, you're my, yeah, you're my first new client after four years because all of them are repeat, <laughs> in the, <laughs> repeat clients. Um, so in that sense. So in terms of charges, um, now, because we're working on only this portion of it, um, the generally speaking, I charge around 500 rupees per square foot, which is a lot. Okay. So, but I, I'm not going to charge that much because I'm not doing so much of a design work. So what I'll do, um, I can do a lump sum for you. So anywhere less than 30,000, I can do anywhere because that's what it will cost me as well to do a bit of research and different things. So here's a pro proposal. How does anywhere between 10 to 20,000 rupees sound to you for all of this? Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, great. So then what I'll then do is work on this front bit, make this 3D model, okay? And based on this, I will propose two or maybe three uh, possibilities of what can happen, okay? Great. That and then in our take it. And then sounds... in our next meeting, we can lock in one of them or all three of them, whichever you like, and then we can come up with the one final one. So okay, my uh, just one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. After you come up with the three D model and we finalize whatever model we uh, to, uh, select or lock. I will go back to the draftman architect I have got and ask him to make the 2D uh, front elevation of it. No, no, you will not. I will do that work uh, because he was, he does not have the expertise to do it. Um, so you already so, have the AutoCAD file, I think. And yes. that file has got the front elevation design. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. So, okay. Uh, you yeah, you will correct that over there. I will correct that. Um, it will be a new drawing completely because that drawing is wrong, to be honest. Um, so um, it will be a new drawing, which you can then use later on as well. For submission. Okay. For submission, yes. But at that point, um, uh, you will probably need another person to submit. And I'll see if uh, they will accept, because I have not worked with farmer farms before, so I don't know whether they have a panel of architects or not. No, no, so, it's uh, it's a private land, and uh, the only formality is that I will have to submit that drawing in TMA. TMA is Town Municipal Authority. Okay. They randomly come and uh, check if the map is passed or not. But okay. before them coming in, I will probably get the map passed from there. It's just like an authority like LDA. Like we get a map approved from LDA or DHA. This area comes under TMA. Okay. Fine. Sounds good. So I will then produce this. Then any later drawings after that will be, um, you know, additional drawings. But I don't think you will need them. So yes, I told you that you... I will get the electrical and the uh, plumbing work done manually. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. You can just. Don't need that the only additional you... drawing I have, I have engaged the architect is the structural drawing, and I don't know how will yeah, he. Yeah, just hold on to that. Um, 
I will see. Maybe I can provide you the structural ones. Yes, because, because the, the elevation, the front elevation is getting changed. So I don't think yeah. he's, he's going to make the correct structural drawing. Yeah. Yeah. But so do, I do you think I should ask him to hold before he tells me that he's already started and he will charge me and this and that? Yeah, just tell him don't produce it structural drawings. You're reconsidering. This will also give him a bit of a shock to realize that, oh, his client is gone going because of his, his attitude. I don't know if he's going to argue with me that no, no, we have already had a package. No, that... but... no I think there's no need. Uh, just, you know, if you're in touch with him or if he's in, if he is in touch with you, you know, he, if you say to him, he will say, okay, yeah, I've already started. He will say that. Then uh, what should I do? Well, you the design is changed, so you uh, that that that's his problem now, not your problem. So you have have you given him the go ahead? Uh, I think so. Before, okay. If you have, then yes, then stop him. But if you have not given him go ahead, then uh, should I ask him? Well, that's yeah. You have to check him. Okay, I'll ask him. But uh, I will tell him that uh, I already told him that I have a detailed meeting with you on Monday, today. And uh, the things I discussed with him, he had no answer to them. And he said that, Pahusab, it is better that you have your meeting with your friend and then tell me what did he say. Because all the questions and concerns you messaged me, I forwarded to him and asked him how to address them. He had no answer. That's surprising. He had no answer. I'm not sure. Yes. Why. He it said that it's clear. better you discuss it in detail and then we can, will decide. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him that I just uh, finished with the meeting with you and we have uh, changed the front elevation and I have engaged you to produce the 3D model and hence you will also get me the front elevation and uh, structural drawing, are you sure you're going to provide me? Um, the structure for this one, yeah, I think so. I can provide. Uh, but there will be additional charges for the structural drawing, but yes, I can provide. So. Yeah, you can also tell me how much charges because he is uh, quoted me twenty thousand for it. So maybe if you think he can uh, do it according to the three D model, because he he has already uh, logged that invoice with me. He's going to argue with me that you are now backing out from this and that. We discussed it uh, on WhatsApp messages. He gave me a package of scope of work, and I agreed to it. And that included the structural drawing. Okay. Well, the the 3D model that I produce uh, is not transferable. I, I can't share the files with him. So we, he will have to make the structural drawing by himself. And I'm not sure whether he'll be able to make exactly what was what the model shows. Okay, not transferable. Uh, you mean that uh, even if I get this 3D model made from somewhere here in Lahore, you think that this architect cannot change the structural drawing according to it? Yeah, because he doesn't. He doesn't understand what how things were made, and the okay, structural drawing. Okay, is, I'll try to the drawing is not. Yeah, the structural drawing isn't just a roof plan. It's more than just. A, uh, so. Um, that's okay, I'll try to convince him and I'll tell him that uh, I know that you have. Uh, uh, this is a structure mentioned. drawing, by the way. This. This part. How many pages are these for a house? Generally speaking, around 10 pages. That's too much. To tire. I highly doubt he was going to provide me 10 pages. No, he'll probably just provide you one or maybe two, maybe one only. It's not even. 
Okay, you can also tell me the charges for structural ranks if I get it from you. Well, it's uh, right now just tell, tell him to wait and that you will get back to him. That you should not start anything because uh, here's another proposition. Because the structure for the front is only changing, not the back. Sorry, I missed your point. Uh, the, 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 stru the structure of the front is only changing, not the back. Yes, yes. So. Still the double roof. Yeah. So, which means. By the way, we don't have any double roof for this bedroom. Then why is he making a pitch roof? He, I think he was supposed to set up. The pitch roof for the bedroom in front would be at. 14 feet. I did tell him to keep it flat, but he kept on insisting that no, it will not look good. No, we'll make it flat. We'll make it flat. Um, but look, I think I will probably provide you with a structure drawing. Yes, but I think the structure drawing you're going to make, uh, just make a, if he makes it in one page and Basically, the structure drawing is followed by the mason and the yeah. shuttering people, no? Mm -hmm. So even if you make 12 pages, that do you think the shuttering people are going to follow that? Going to make, be able? Uh, because the front bit is a bit complicated. So the Bakar guy can do this part, the back one. Because, uh, because he uh, okay, so he can make structure drawing for the back, which is in in blue, and I can produce for the front. Structure drawing is basically the drawings of the uh, steel saria used. Yeah, steel and connections and, and how the beams are going to be made and the pillars mm -hmm. are going to be made. Mm -hmm. What else? Yep. Yeah, those. It is required after after the Chunaya starts of the yeah. DPC, after yeah. post DPC uh, bricklaying. Mm -hmm. This is needed. Yeah, I think I will um, just find out wh what stage he is in, in terms of structure. But eventually when the design changes, then there will be a redesign of the structure. Okay. So, anyways, I have. I'm sorry, I have to run to the next meeting now. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, so, so, so kind of you already given me yeah. one hour. That's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I, to now head out. I really appreciate your time. So, so we um, have logged the concept. We are going to go ahead with that. Yes. That rang with three. So I will now start producing this work. I will send you a contract. Um, sure. And you then you can. And, uh, well, only for the 3D or uh, the structural drawing as well? Uh, you still have to code I'll, for that. I will code, I'll send you the quotation for the structure drawings. Um, but I'll send you the, the, well, I'll send you two quotations, one for the structure and one for the 3D. Okay. okay based on what we discussed today. So uh, I will also list down all the set of deliverables so you know the timeline, what is being produced at what point, and then what you need to do after this is delivered to you. And okay. uh, so it's a, it's a comprehensive documentation. Um, and that's uh, how things are normally done. So you will find it it is very useful. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And then I'll also send you a third quotation. Uh, that will, will be for the finishing design. Of which interior? Is not of interior. You don't have to actually do it, but it will just be a quotation just so you know the process and what uh, if you want to avail it, you can. Okay, so, sure, you uh, can share with me. So you can you can think about it later. So yes. 
Okay. So because I ultimately I want that your house should be a nice place to live and it should be modern, clean, easy to maintain and um, headache free, basically. Yes, yes. I really appreciate you have been yeah. taking this all so seriously, just like you're doing it for your own uh, yeah, living. Yeah, and that's, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it uh, built uh, eventually. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you are here next time, I hope yeah. it is completed yeah. by that time. Hopefully. All right. Well, sorry I have to rush now. Okay, so sure. sure. Have a nice you. day. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for Thank your you. time. Thank you. I will be Bye. waiting Bye. for the quotations. Looking forward. Thanks. Okay. Thank Allah. 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 Allah.